Ryan Gass here, ptpgun.com. And today, I'm gonna show you how to field strip your Smith & Wesson MP Shield 9. Now, before we take apart any firearm, we need to double check, make sure the firearm is unloaded. So we're gonna go ahead, drop the magazine, set that to the side. We double check, make sure there's no round in the chamber, no magazine inserted, and we're ready to proceed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that slide back and we're gonna keep it locked back. And from here, we have a lever here. We're gonna take that lever and rotate it from the three o'clock position down to the six. We're gonna pull that slide back, let go, and the slide won't come off until you pull the trigger. Slide that off, set that frame to the side because that's all we're gonna do with that during the field strip. We're gonna take the spring and spring guy, we're gonna press that just a little bit, and we're gonna pull that up and out, set that to the side. We're gonna take the barrel out, we're gonna pull that out, set that to the side as well, and then we're gonna take our slide and set that down. From here, you can do any type of cleaner maintenance you might need to do with your Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 9. Now we're gonna move into reassembly, right? Slide is upside down, barrel is upside down, drop the barrel in, we're gonna take the spring and spring guide, we're gonna insert that into the barrel, or into the slide, muzzle in first, right? We're gonna press that down a little bit, to get caught in the bottom of that barrel, now we're gonna take the slide and we're gonna uh, run it onto the frame itself. Now there's a rail that starts on the front of the slide uh, from a third of the way back and it extends all the way back. We're gonna insert that into the back of the slide. We're gonna pull that back all the way, lock that back. Now once we lock that slide to the rear, we're gonna take that lever here, we're gonna rotate it back from six up to three. From here, we have now finished our reassembly and we are going to do a function check on the firearm to make sure it's operating the way it's supposed to. Make sure we put it back together the way that we were supposed to. So we're gonna pull that slide back, let go, and pull the trigger. Then we're gonna repeat that. We're gonna pull that slide back, let go, pull the trigger. And then we're gonna pull the slide back this time, pull the trigger, but we're gonna hold the trigger to the rear. And while holding that trigger to the rear, we're gonna pull that slide back, let go, release the trigger just until we hear and feel that click, and then we're gonna pull the trigger again. Hold the trigger to the rear again, pull the slide back and let go one last time, and release that trigger. Now what we're gonna do, this, this trigger firearm does have a safety on it, so we're actually gonna activate the safety, and we're gonna attempt to pull the trigger with the safety activated, and it's not working the way it should be. All right? It shouldn't be pulling the trigger because the safety is now activated, and it's working the way it should. For more videos on how to field strip and clean your farm, Go to our YouTube channel, ptpgun.com, and hit the subscribe button because we have follow-up videos happening each and every Friday, Field Strip Friday, to help you be able to take apart your firearm. If there's any particular videos you would like to see done on any particular firearms, put that in the comments below, and we'll be sure to get that video out to you as soon as possible. Also, go to ptpgun.com website and order any of your merchandise, including hats, shirts, hoodies, and even decals to help support your favorite YouTube channel. Thank you all again, stay safe, and as always, train, defend, prevail.